Balancing in DaVinci Resolve is one of those things that you probably struggled with when you first started doing color grading and maybe you've been taught a certain way. And I don't think that's the actual proper way to do it when it comes to color grading. It's a way that I used to do all the time when I first started out. I have this technique that I do and a lot of other colorists do. So maybe you've already seen it before, but I think it's really important balancing image. Now you should always balance for your skin tone. That's another thing that people don't really ever get taught and a way that I wasn't shown when I first started out. So let's jump into Resolve and I'm gonna show you the technique that I use when it comes to balancing my image. G'day, welcome back. So we're in Resolve now and we're gonna do that balancing. I'll show you a couple of different ways how people generally balance and then I'll show you the way that I like to do it. So let's start in the standard way, which is the gain, gamma and lift. And this is the way that you've probably been shown. Our first thing we're gonna do is look at our footage and see that is extremely blue. So obviously this was shot incorrectly. Let's go to our gain here and let's warm it up a fair bit. So this is just the standard method. You've probably done this a million times before and you've probably seen this a million times before. So it's not all that exciting. And then let's go to our lift here and just warm it up a little bit. And our gamma, warm it up a little bit. So we have a good looking image here. We've gone from this blue man group looking dude here to this image here. It's not perfect. I'd probably go back and adjust it just a little bit, but in terms of the video, it looks pretty good. So that is the first method that we're gonna go through. So we're gonna do the balancing again, but this time we're gonna use offset. So this is a way that I always use to balance my image. So come down here to your offset. And again, we're just basically doing all three things at once. So we can sort of just move this around until we get a good starting point and then maybe just change these darker areas up. Gamma here. And again, it's basically the same process as last time. Here's image, and again, it's not perfect. We'd wanna go back and make some more adjustments, but I'm just trying to show you a different way how to balance that image. And this is the way that I used to do all the time, but not a way that I do now. So let's move on to the final one. So this is the way that I like to balance now. So in our node here, we're gonna right click, we're gonna to go to gamma, and we're gonna to go to linear. Now, when I'm working in a linear space for exposure or for my balance, I find the controls work a lot better. It just feels like everything is working in uniform and it just makes my balancing exposure just a lot easier. That's just me. Maybe you don't think it is as good, but for me, I think it's fantastic. So with this balance here, we're not gonna be working in the offset like before, we are working in the gain. So we're just gonna push this to the warmer areas because obviously our image is way too blue and we don't want that. We want a nice looking image, not an awful looking image. So after using that linear mode and using gain, we've gone from this blue group here to this here. And we've done it so quickly and so much faster than we did when we used gain, gamma, and lift. And I just feel like when I'm in that linear mode, balancing my image and again, doing exposure, everything works in unison. Everything just is smooth and it seems to work a lot easier. Now that's just my opinion, but for me working in a linear space when exposing or balancing your image, seems to work a lot better. Now, let me know what you guys think. Do you work in a linear space when you're doing exposure and balancing or do you just do it in exposure or you don't do it at all? I'm really interested to know what your opinion is when it comes to doing your grading work. Now, obviously this is not a finished look. You'd wanna go on and do some contrast, saturation, a general overall look when it comes to this image, but we have a nice starting point and that's important. So we'll just take a quick look now of each of the balances. So we have our standard look here and it looks a little bit more gentry to me. So we'd wanna come around and fix that up, especially in these bricks here. And the offset one looks pretty awful. So we'd actually wanna come back and do a lot more work than that. Actually looks a little bit underexposed. And then we have a linear one, which is sitting in a much better place. It's just lacking that saturation and contrast, but our skin tones are looking really good. And that's the most important thing when it comes to grading. Let me know what you thought of the video. Do you think it's helpful or it's not something you would ever use? Make sure to comment below. Thanks again for watching. I've been Drew and I hope you have a fantastic day.